You're listening to Rod and Style Radio, the latest podcast brought to you by RodandStyle.com, which is where you can find links for merch, videos from our YouTube channel, along with stories and tech talk from some of the greatest folks in the culture. So grab the wheel, it's about to get wild. You've tuned in to Rod and Style. We should be good. Yeah, we're going to do a take two on this one, folks. We started that first one, but uh, Jimmy Dean decided he wanted to be on the podcast. So Um, now he's climbing on top of you. This is the only way I'm going to keep him quiet. And then so you're going to get bit the entire time. (laughs) This little basset hound decides that he's going to explore the entire world mouth first and bite everything and see what it tastes like. And <laughs> right now he's loving the fact that my arm tastes like his food, I guess. I don't know. He's like, this is good. This is good stuff right here. <laughs> yeah. So our listeners, because I've been getting crazy messages uh, wondering where the hell we went, uh, mm-hmm. have seen that we've taken a little bit of a hiatus and, you know, we haven't put out uh some episodes recently. We took a few weeks off. Uh, I did one episode with uh, Brandon McGill last week, and um, you were stuck in traffic, so you didn't get to be with us on that recording. But folks, welcome back to another episode of Rod and Sal Radio with the Custom Couple. Hi. So this is an update from Lane and Sam of where the hell have we been for the last month (laughs) i was gonna say we haven't we haven't done lives we haven't done episodes together it has been crazy and busy but now that it's finally happening sooner and we can actually officially talk about it um we are moving so all of our fun friends that have visited us at the house uh y'all are the only ones it wasn't a lot of people but now we are moving to a new place yeah uh, we just kind of decided uh, out of the blue. Uh, <laughs> it, y'all probably remember we had Ali, our friend from Germany, on our show of what? Well, let's say what two months ago, maybe. I would I would say a little over a month and a half. Yeah, somewhere yeah, little, around that. I said that horribly wrong. I meant like a month and a half ago, not a little under over whatever yeah. the fuck I just said. Over it's been under. A while. It's been a while through the woods. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, while he was in town, we went and visited uh, some other friends of ours, Abe and Patty. And uh, we decided we we think we need a mid-century house. Well, I mean, their house was absolutely amazing. (laughs) It was just, oh, it was so nice. And we talked about that for a while, that we could never have a house that was mid-century in San Antonio because, you know, just no. The houses they build so fast now are horrible. Um, and then, you know, we got to go over there with Ollie and we had an amazing time. We got to see their house and everything they've done to it because they fixed it up really nice and still not done. And it just looks so good. And that kind of that was the bug that bit us. Yeah, it kind of got it put in our heads like maybe we can do this. Exactly. And, you know, we just never knew what neighborhood to look for. And their neighborhood per- matched perfectly because all the houses are like that. So that's when me and you decided to list the house. And with how crazy housing is right now, we made a pretty good chunk. Yeah, uh, it just worked out when I bought our house. Uh, yeah, I got it at such a good deal that. Right now, when it sold, we were able to like actually be able to have money for a down payment. And that's kind of unheard of right now that the housing market, the way it is, a lot of people are struggling to be able to get into a new place. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of, you know, we're fortunate in where we were at and the things that we've done recently that have put us in a position to be able to do so. But I think, you know, now the mid-century bug is like really bit us because- our neighbors saw the for sale sign in in front of our house and saw that it only took about 
two days for our house to sell. It went up and it wasn't even professional pictures. It was the pictures that my <laughs> iPhone took, my lovely iPhone 12, because um, <laughs> we wanted Hashtag to live. Hashtag iPhone should sponsor this podcast. Yeah, my lovely iPhone took our home pictures. I staged our, our house as best I could and took pictures. And I guess they were good enough because we had two viewings. Yeah. And uh, so... You know, they, the neighbors have seen us sell the house, but now they've also seen us buying things and, and bringing, bringing it, it into back this to the house. house. Yeah. So they're confused right now. It's like, <laughs> did y'all sell or are you moving back in? I'm like, uh, no, we are selling. But unfortunately, we are not in the new house yet or have the keys. So as I'm buying furniture and things like that, it has to come here and it doesn't fit. Yeah. So we have... Uh, Brand well, not brand new, but new to us. Ovens sitting in the garage. We have a new couch. So sitting before we before we even <laughs> get into that, so um, I guess if y'all seen my post, you know, for friends on Facebook or whatever, because we haven't really said anything on our platforms, but a little bit about our house. Um, obviously, we wanted a mid-century house, but our house was is uh, was made in 1959, just like my Buick which is amazing. Um, and the bathroom, when we went to go see this house, it was posted that day and Frank's is on the damn couch. On the on the new couch that we just bought. I'm going to hit her <laughs> so bad. As long as she's not tearing it, I don't care. She's not. She thinks it's a fort. Oh, is she going in the fort? This is my fort. <laughs> yeah, she's all. This, no, this she, thinks that's her, she thinks that's her little cat spot now <laughs> since we threw her house away. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, we, I remember it got listed that day, like it was just a random day. And then you messaged me immediately and were like, we need to go see this house. And I was like, oh, and you're like, it's in, it's in Abe and Patty's neighborhood. I was like, oh, now we definitely need to go see definitely it. Definitely need to go see it. Cause it's those houses in their neighborhood. They either stay with whoever bought it for a long, long time, or they go up and they're gone in two, three days. And that was the same thing with this one. We yeah. saw it the same day it got <laughs> listed and we put an offer. Yeah, you called me and we looked at it and I was like, we're done. I think we're in and out. And we invited Abe and Patty to go look at it with us because mm -hmm. they just went through that process last year. So they kind of know or knew how the market was and how quick you had to be about things. But we got to see all the inside and the bathrooms are original. It still has the original light even that they had up there, the little atomic cover. Mm -hmm. uh, the kitchen, the counter tables or the countertops and everything are still original. But it's things like that. It has a lot of, funny enough, it has a lot of character in that house. Yeah. And so we jumped on it immediately. We were gritting our teeth about it. And then we found out that they accepted our offer and we were excited. But it's weird. Uh, I'm not going to say the street that we live on because we don't want people to follow us on that. But <laughs> even the four digits of our house, there's like a whole weird conspiracy number thing about it uh, associating with five nine. So our house, if you put our dig our numbers together, it equals nine five nine five for everybody who obviously knows that I'm younger than most of the people we talk to. <laughs> I was born in 95. So. Our house is a 59, reverse is 95, our address equals 95. And then you brought up all this stuff from Bewitched. Yeah, because, well, you know, we decided that we just needed to have a Frigidaire Flare oven because uh, Abe showed us one and, and they have <laughs> one in their house as well. That works. That works. Uh, Abe found us one and it just happened to be the one that... Uh, if y'all watched the old episodes of Bewitched, Samantha had one in her in her uh, kitchen. Uh, we have the exact same model, just yeah. a different color. I think hers was a yellow, a yellow and mm -hmm. ours is white. Mm -hmm. But then, like, we went into like this whole like crazy like I felt like Jim Carrey in Twenty Three. <laughs> like the whole like numbers conspiracy with it because uh what is uh she Elizabeth Montgomery was yes. the actress that played her in Bewitched uh she passed away this like almost exactly 6 months before you were born yeah so you're probably Elizabeth Montgomery <laughs> reincarnated and just wanted another chance to use that oven well, again. Well, I remember we said I remember we even talked about it because she it was May 
May 16th, I think, or May, May 15th 18th. or 18th. Um, and I did the math on all of it and it all equals my birthday year. It all equals 95, the way you look at it. Even from um, her, she died on the 15th, right? Or 18th? No, the 18th. The 18th. I just said that. You know what? Leave me alone. (laughs) I don't remember things. Yeah, May 18th, 1995. So, yeah, we're we're pretty sure that Sam (laughs) is the reincarnation of. No, you're. You have that theory in your head. Yeah. Um,. But yeah, but anyway, oh. so as we've been, you know, y'all can settling, hear Jimmy Dean getting mad at me right now. He's getting pissed because you keep fucking. With I'm not him. fucking with him. I'm trying not to bite. I'm not trying not trying to, to get bite bit. him. You're trying to bite him. The now? next step is I'm going to bite this dog back because he's been biting me through this whole podcast. Yeah. Tell him. Oh my gosh. Yo, bless you. <laughs> He's mad because you had to bless him. So, yeah, everybody knows that we got a new Basset Hound and now a new house. He's making it known. He made his debut on the podcast. Oh, my God. He had two brothers that looked just like him. And if we could have had them, I would have taken them, too. And we would have had Jimmy Dean and then biscuits biscuits and and gravy. gravy. Yeah. 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 (laughs) <laughs> he's mad you didn't get his brothers but yeah so we have been quiet for some time now so that we can move because we have officially closed on our house um last week and that was really easy compared to the first time that you did it when i met you yep um but yeah so we sold our house and bought a house in exactly one week Yeah, so now we're just waiting to close on this deal Mm -hmm. so we can get keys and start moving in and taking pictures and letting everybody see. Kissing hands. Yeah, kissing hands and shaking babies. Um, (laughs) Let everybody see this cool new house that we got. Uh, For one, because your Buick's going to look absolutely amazing parked in front of that house. So excited to be parked in there. Yeah, we're stoked about all the uh, photo ops. (laughs) We're excited that it's two car garage. Oh yeah, it's a two car garage. I mean, there's a lot of good perks about this house. There's a lot of good perks about the neighborhood. Uh, You know, apparently we are in a circle of friends. There's about four of us that all have mid-century houses in this one neighborhood. Yep. So we decided that, you know, better homes and gardens uh is gonna have nothing on the next magazine that we put out we have found out i am the deals queen of mid-century furniture and things because i find nothing but deals <laughs> oh yeah deals and uh, not only like good deals on things but then the haggling like this girl can haggle <laughs> and i knew this because of dealing with cars but god damn like sam can haggle like <laughs> You know, if it could be 50 cents and she'll still get it for 30. <laughs> exactly. There's a deal in everything. Yeah. It, it, if there was coupons on Facebook Marketplace, she would have them. You know what's funny? I've thought about that. Like, I know if I really got into couponing, I could get so much shit, but I just don't want to do it. It takes too much time and it's annoying. Well, yeah. And also it doesn't work in San Antonio because HEB has a monopoly on like all groceries. <laughs> so... But, couponing does not work in San Antonio yeah. unless you found a way for it. I doubt it. I haven't obviously and, because I haven't done it, but yeah, yeah no, I like just today, uh, um, a Panther I bought recently, I bought it and then it came broken, but it wasn't the exact piece. It was the kind of the corner piece of it. So I can glue it back and be fine. But I found out today that those go for like a hundred up to 400 almost five what patty found today yeah patty found you one that was like 495 yeah and she says they usually start at like 120 but i bought it for like 40 bucks and then since that corner was cracked i sent a picture of the girl saying that i was kind of upset about it because i really liked it oh my god he is barking his head off right now so mad he is attacking the hell out of a pillow right now (laughs) but yeah so i got it for 40 and then it got refunded so i got a panther but I'm glad it didn't crack as bad. I mean, it did crack pretty bad, but I can fix it. Yeah, it's mostly on the base. It's all good. I know. So what else is next? I mean, we've got we've got more people that we're going to be interviewing soon, but we decided that we needed to put out an episode that just kind of explained where the hell we've been at for the last like 
mm-hmm. month right now. <laughs> and it's like it, it's crazy to be like, oh, we bought and sold the house in a week, but now all the paperwork, all the crap of having to go to the bank. These poor bank people know me by name now because I'm always there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. they now they say hi to me through the damn windows. But yeah, so we've just kind of been ironing out all of that. But doesn't mean that we are not continuing our fun this year. We are still going to be go. Or our next show is going to be Invasion, which is coming up soon. Um, I'll be there, of course, to pass my crown to the next lovely lady that's going to be crowned Miss Invasion. Um, a fun thing about that, the custom couple, a.k.a. Miss Invasion 2021, we are donating the crown and sash to the winner this year. Um, I know they're still looking for vendors, so people can definitely uh, go to their website and check that out or message anybody like Rusty Davis. I'm pretty sure he can help you out with that. Um, it's going to be September 24th, mm-hmm. so that's going to be exciting. Um, I don't know yet if we're taking a car or not, because we just got so much shit going on, but we're definitely going. Um, after Invasion, we will be going to Evil Shindig, um, yep. where and- I'll be competing for uh, Miss Evil Shindig, so that's exciting. We'll get to see our fun friends, Chad and Christina. Um. Yeah, and there's a mirror yeah. up there that I really want, so I kind of got to go. Yeah, we'll go go see Bob and Mary. Have we talked to Bob and Mary? We have not talked to them yet, so we definitely need to get them on here. Uh, well, remember they had that accident with their car and their I trailer. Know. Yeah, that was very heartbreaking. Yeah, we saw that. So, so you know, we hope for the best. I'm glad that they're both okay, but we'll get them on here so we can talk about the show and upcoming because it's a giant weekender. I know the people who are going to go camp there, they get a day early access to like park and get the area that they want to be in. Um, So that'll be fun. And then we starting to see shows come up for next year. I know they just released the dates for Starbird Mm -hmm. and uh, they're already looking for sponsors. So uh, I don't know yet about that one. We haven't even lined those up yet, but I'm thinking we haven't started getting everything lined up for 2023 yet i know we're trying to do uh well you're not going he what wants to go you might go uh we're trying to do starboard we're trying to do grand national roadster show mm-hmm. uh and those are always right at the beginning of the year so those will probably be the next ones on the radar but uh you know and then but we also have in november uh jimmy dean thinks that he's going to all these shows with us we have Atomic Prom. <laughs> yeah, we have Atomic Prom, uh, which is actually the same day as Pistons and Paint. Uh, the weekend before that is going to be uh, Dia de los Customs, yep. Chewy Show. Chewy Show. There's, you know, there's just a ton of things happening. Green with Meat is also in October. Up, yeah, that one's coming up too. I just got the invite on it. So there's a ton of stuff happening. So to us that just means there's a ton of people we need to be reaching out to to get onto the show so know, they can be talking you, about their shows now that we named everything i'm like oh that's coming up very quick i know because we have a busy october and we have a busy november i think december is our only free month so far but in the process of all of that we are going to be moving our house and celebrating and doing all that fun shit so that'll be that's going to be chaos really Chaos is this little dog. <laughs> I know. I want I want to so bad record what this looks like. Like that you you two are fighting each other and I'm like pretty surprised that you can still talk while you're trying to fucking wrestle him. <laughs> I'm just like trying to keep this show going and like I'm like totally getting beat up by a little basset hound right now. <laughs> He's pretty pissed. He is. I, he's just full of energy. He's just. I want he's him to got be an old puppy. man. Yeah, no, I want him to be an old man already. Puppy energy in him right now. So it's like I can't do anything without him either barking at me or biting me. People, right now. people are like, "Oh, don't you want a fun, active dog?" No, I want the boring old. No, man we want the boring old man that just wants to go on trips and sleep the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> they get to sleep everywhere. But he's cool. <laughs> As he's biting my hand. As he's biting the shit out of you. Yeah, he's real cool. This is the, the rod and style radio pup right here. That's the mascot. This is going to be our new mascot. Right up there with Sammy. I was literally about to say that. I'm like, don't forget about Chuck's 
dog. Yeah. Because she's really nice. Yeah, right up there with Sammy. Sammy's going to have a new friend when we go to Fort Worth and she's hang out. He's just going to push him. He's going to fall. He's a very klutzy dog. He is a klutz. He is such a klutz. He falls way too easily. But, oh, well. Oh, well. Um, no, folks, I still have not picked up a vehicle. I know <laughs> on several of our episodes, we've talked about a Merc. We've talked about me getting a Merc. Uh, when we decided to sell the house and decided to find a new one, uh, I've put buying cars on the back burner right now. And, uh, you know, I think the next car actually is going to be something more uh, fitting to our house. So I haven't figured that out yet, but you're always so nice about like not having a car. <laughs> Cause I always have one, but that's the best thing about you. You let me have my fun and then I let you drive the car when you want to have fun. But yeah, I think I think you're going to need a nice big car in that driveway because, you know, it only look better. I think so. Now that we have a two car garage, we need two cars in there because our dailies are going to be on the outside. <laughs> I'm going to get no, a little we'll scooter. We'll park our dailies at the park. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll just park them down the street. So. You are really fighting this dog right now. <laughs> Like, like, like y'all he are is legit. Upset. Yeah, y'all are legit fighting right now. He is pissed. He is so mad at you. Well, he wants to be on the podcast, but then all he does is bite. He has nothing to bring to the table right now. And then he's all turtled out, so he can't get up. Yeah, that's another bad thing. I promise we're not trying to make this about our dog, but he is the weirdest animal ever because he falls on his back and he acts like a turtle, like he can't get up. <laughs> So <laughs> he's just clumsy. He's just a little klutzy. It's fine. Y'all, yeah. maybe soon people will get to meet Jimmy Dean York. And yes, like the sausage, that's his name. Yeah. So anyways, um, this episode brought to you by Work Hard Be Nice. Nice. Probably because I need Thurman to move us into the new house. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe work hard, be nice, <laughs> can not only sponsor us, but sponsor our move. <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm kidding, kidding Thurman. Thurman. Just I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, but it'd be really good to see Thurman again. We just need to see all our friends. We've just been so busy, but we get to see Abe and Patty, and that's kind of a lot of fun. Folks, if you're not following already Scratch's Garage, uh, along with Rod and Style, Cheater Slick Culture, Speed and Culture, uh, Model T Obsession. You know, these are all the pages uh, that, you know, basically form this whole family. You know, we've also got Hussy Army, uh, Gnarly Magazine's making its comeback. So yes. Johnny's going to actually be on the show soon talking about the comeback of Gnarly. Um Please go and follow all of these pages. They are what makes the podcast uh, possible even. Uh, not even to mention all of you know the custom couples sponsors that have you know the people that have put up money uh, like uh, Martin's Rod and Custom. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Austin Harville's been a you know a big two -tone. supporter, yeah, with two tone. Uh, you know, th those are the folks that are you know, making everything that we do as a, as the custom couple possible. So, you know, folks like messenger, y'all heard messenger on the podcast. Uh, you know, he's actually doing a lot for us and for Sam is 59. You I know. know. And so then Lux we got, is going to have a paint um, job soon. We're going to meet knucklehead soon. Yeah. We're going to meet, we're going to see him at evil shindig. He has a booth there. Um, we also, have Ken from Bad Ideas. We haven't seen him in a while. I want to see him so bad because I miss him. He's crazy and fun. And then, you know what we need for the new house to break it in? We need pickles. Yes. 100% flat room farmer. You, if you're not getting your produce from him, then you are missing out because, uh, yeah, you're right. The new house is going to need a, a ton of brand new jars of pickles and jalapenos. Well, yeah, because now that I have all those roly-poly glasses and stuff... 
Now that I have all those glasses, I need to make mixed drinks and I need pickles because you like pickles in your drink. <laughs> so you're a weirdo and like pickles in your drink and I don't. I do. I do enjoy pickles. Um, but, you know, folks, you know, y'all definitely need to go and follow all of these pages. I also think that y'all need to be following Scratch's Garage so you know when the next Hot Rods and Hot Dogs is. I always say it reverse. Is it Hot Dogs and Hot Rods? I think it's Hot Dogs and Hot Rods. I don't think it's Hot Rods and Hot Dogs. I don't know. Either way. It sounds horrible. It, both Either of them way. are great things to have in your life. Um, it's, yeah, I, I, I wasn't ready. I thought I was going to be ready quicker. I was no, not. no, you're messing with your fingernails right now and you are not ready. Oh, because I have a very important meeting for work and I have to make a good impression, <laughs> sir. If you want me to keep this easy ass job I have, it's hot dogs and hot rods. I was right. Hot dogs and hot rods. Just think of the Mickey Mouse song where it's like hot dog. Din, 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 din. <laughs> I just realized I did that on the fucking podcast. You did. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. This foil isn't for you. Back off. <laughs> so now Jimmy Dean has left me alone and he's now attacking his mother and the cat. Wonderful. Frank's does not like this. <laughs> hey, leave her alone, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being endearing because he's dumb. He just ran into the table. He's just not smart. He's not a smart dog. But yeah, so. It's a great way to stay in shape. It's a great way to stay. It's a great conversation piece. <laughs> that is the one thing that I've realized that I don't like about buying these mid-century old school uh, things like the lamps. I've I have now have my own lamp collection. <laughs> I have too many lamps I have found out but I found some really cool zigzag lamps I found I, f I really found like six to eight of them but I only bought four because you know I'm trying not to be too crazy <laughs> um we have our couch we have a bunch of stuff but yeah everybody that I've talked to about buying stuff and getting it from the people that we've been picking it up from everyone loves telling me how much of a conversation piece it is <laughs> okay, so is this going to be your one gripe for the for the show? Yes, this is my one gripe that I constantly hear how great of a conversation piece everything is. Then my whole house is going to be a conversation piece. Of course it is. It's going to be a whole reason that we create a new uh uh a new podcast. We're just going to talk about mid-century houses. No, I already thought about it we're gonna document it we're gonna document it all on the custom couple page officially of what we do to the house our little what we're gonna do to change it because we're very excited we're gonna do a lot of first time projects and we're gonna be doing that with Abe and Patty because Abe already said he would do it so Abe this is keeping you accountable for that <laughs> I think my gripe uh, is going to be that if you're listing things on Facebook marketplace Especially cars. Don't put a car on Facebook Marketplace that you have now pulled the engine out of and then put the phrase. It ran when parked. Yeah. That is the <laughs> most retarded thing ever. I stood while I sat. <laughs> exactly. That's stupid. Oh yeah. my God. I cannot stand anybody that puts ran when parked on a post. And then you see... <laughs> Then you see the fucking picture of the car and the tires are all flat. It's like, when did you park it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not even the worst one. Now you got me ready to go on a tangent. Yeah, the do worst, this. No, the worst ones are the ones that have a picture of a badass, like, chopped car. And it's, like, listed for, like, six grand. And then, of course, we know it's not going to cost this six grand. This is just an example of what we saw. Uh, and then you click on the post and you swipe and it's the car that has no wheels, no engine, is not chopped. And they're like, oh, this is great potential. It's a great conversation piece. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. So basically every car out there has potential, right? It's not the car that has potential. It's the person who's going to do the work that has that potential. Um but every car, every post, I see this. It's like, oh, it's you know, great potential, and it's like, I I can't stand when you put that one picture on there. That's you know, oh, this is for inspiration, and it's like, I don't need your inspiration. Yeah. What if I don't like that? What if I actually thought you were selling that car 
And now I'm pissed off. Yeah, because then you have those one posts that are, are one uh, one of those cars that's posted and Facebook doesn't have like the exact like name or num- or the uh, year for it. So then you have to put a random one and then or it won't let you put the price because it's like, oh, this car isn't worth that. But it's like you don't know what it's what we're posting. All you know is that it's an old car. I think it's hilarious when everybody puts a uh, a Dodge DeSoto. It's like <laughs> or a Chrysler DeSoto. <laughs> Like Facebook doesn't know that DeSoto was its own fucking brand or something. Um, so it's like fucking frustrating is what it is. I know because you, I know you send them all to me and then I'm like, like, OK. But, you know, we've been enjoying looking at more people uh, posts. Our friends Chad and Christina have been looking for a car and now she has her own car. Um, and we're going to get to see them at Evil Shindig. But that was fun. I think they also gave us the bug to go look and hunt for another car. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I would say they did. Chad uh, has been sending me cars like crazy that they've been wanting to uh, go look at, go, you know, test drive and see how they work. And uh, when he finally found this 57 Dodge is what they picked up. I, I think it, it fits. I think it, I think it was a definitely a good fit for them. Oh yeah, no, the deal they got on it was amazing, and it's a beautiful car. I'm very excited to see. <laughs> uh, all our animals just want to mess with us so bad right now because Frank's the fat ass cat got on the tiny TV stand and then jumped off and it almost fell completely. Like our cat, our cat and our dog just want to mess with us right now. <laughs> Nobody wants us to do a podcast right now, apparently because everybody's fucking with us. And that one's chomping and yeah, now everybody's got to listen to this. Now I, all of our listeners are going to hear this little basset hound just gulping <laughs> down water right now. Jesus. I promise this will get better. And that's another good thing about the new house is that we have more room. So yeah. I, can, I can put him all the way on the other side of the house and I don't think he can be heard. Yeah, I do like that. So, Oh, my God. Crazy well, mess. let's wrap this up. Do we have any sponsors that we did not talk about? Let me chat. Before I go here, folks, because I just had on my mind that... You know, we have a lot of folks that are really helping us out and doing a lot for us right now. We mentioned all our favorites. We mentioned all of our mentioned all our favorites. Yeah. Which is again for all our lovely listeners, uh, work hard, be nice, Martin's Rod and Custom, Flat Brim Farmer, Messenger Custom Paint, Two Tones Custom Paint, Knucklehead Custom Art, and Bad Ideas Customs. Absolutely. These are are all all the folks that sponsor the custom couple. Yeah, because they like us. And yeah. I miss them. I miss all of them. We haven't seen any of them in a I while because we've just been so busy. But now we're back and we're in action. And if y'all want to keep it up and keep hearing all the fun shit, you just let me know. All right, folks, we're going to let you get back to your normal daily lives and we're going to get back to ours. In all things custom, keep it cool. <laughs>